What's up everyone, OJ here, welcome back to another video, and today we're talking about how Platinum Games has responded to the whole Jennifer Hale and Helena Taylor controversy with Bayonetta 3. Now before we get into their response on Twitter, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first. Now, for those who don't know, I mean if you've been living under a rock or if this is your first time, there has been a big controversy over the video game Bayonetta 3 on the Nintendo Switch. The original voice actor for Bayonetta, Helena Taylor, recently made a video calling out Platinum Games for a low offer. She stated that they only offered to pay her $4,000 for her role after talking with Hideki Kamiya. Now that sent things into a spiral because in the three videos that she made, she actually attacked the new voice actor for Bayonetta and Bayonetta 3, Jennifer Hale. She kind of shot a stray towards the voice actor of John in the game saying to boycott a spinoff. So potentially leaking that there could be a spinoff and she also just simply broke the NDA, the non-disclosure agreement that she's had with Nintendo and Platinum Games over business dealings. So there was a lot of problems in terms of what she had to say right off the bat. In addition to her incorrectly gauging the franchise sales or worth of the Bayonetta series, stating that it's worth 450 million, not including merchandise and anime and stuff like that. And that number is just not substantiated by the sales numbers that Sega, Nintendo, or Platinum Games has ever put out. So there's a multitude of problems. Now, after all of the firestorm that started, because big content creator after big content creator started to pick up what she had to say and instantly stated that they were boycotting the game and that they stand with her and all of this stuff on Twitter. You guys know how it is. Twitter critical thinking isn't very a um, acquired skill from people, even if they have the check marks and even if they're big content creators, sometimes if they feel that it's something that I just need to jump on right now, they're going to do it. So that happened. We had a lot of people doing that. Once again, that caused a firestorm. Heck, TMZ even picked up the articles. Everybody just kind of went in kind of putting some abuse too towards the new voice actor jennifer hale and also platinum games and hideki kamiya didn't handle things too well he actually had a small tirade on twitter even more excessive than his usual ones and it ended up in him having his account restricted or deleted for a while and then it came back so this was a whole thing now recently jason schreier over there at bloomberg in addition to vg and many other websites were able to acquire some official documentation from a source within Platinum Games or at some point that had knowledge of the negotiations and they were able to verify with official documentation that Helena Taylor, the original voice actor for Bayonetta, was actually offered somewhere between $3,000 to $4,000 per a session for five sessions so that was far more than what she said she was offered because in her original videos she didn't talk about how much time she was going to be in the office or in the recording studio she didn't talk about how many sessions they offered her she didn't talk about a lot of things so that information that they got filled in all of that so it proved that she was leaving out information the $4,000 offer was a cameo spot apparently after they had already moved on and picked Jennifer Hale as the new actor because Helena Taylor wanted for her role in Bayonetta 3, she wanted 100K and also royalties or residuals from the game sales and Platinum Games was not going to do that. So that is essentially the whole story there. Now. Platinum Games has now put out a message on Twitter that says this, quote, we at Platinum Games offer our sincerest appreciation to everyone who has contributed to creating the Bayonetta series over the years, as well as the community that has served as its foundation. 
we give our full support to Jennifer Hale as the new Bayonetta and align with everything in her statement. We ask people to please refrain from further comments that would disrespect Jennifer or any of the other contributors to the series. So this comment seems like a big nothing burger at first, and I can completely understand that if you just look at it, because there are a plethora of people on Twitter, once again, critical thinking, not necessarily in a high demand or supply on Twitter, but hey, it is what it is. But there's a plethora of people saying, this is nothing, show us the documentation and all of this, which that's not going to happen, guys. The documentation in terms of this stuff has been showed to these official journals, to Jason Schreier over at Bloomberg, to Andy Robinson over there, you know, to these guys that have been out there in the scene and have pretty much been spot on with their reporting and aren't going to lie for no reason or aren't going to take fake documents. They have no horse in this race and there's no reason for them to lie about what they saw. And it's information and it's evidence in terms of things that Helena is not willing to provide at this point. And we're gonna talk about that in just a bit, but I do wanna go over a couple other things here because I think there's some interesting things within this. Now, one, they don't want the abuse to continue going to Helena Taylor because now after this information had got out in terms of from what Bloomberg reported, now people are out there just bashing Helena Taylor and saying all sorts of things and looking into her past and seeing stuff that she said. And I think that obviously that needs to stop. And I think that part of this message says that everybody who's contributed to the Bayonetta series, you know? So the thanks is there, you know? The thanks is there in terms of what Helena Taylor did for Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2, obviously Super Smash Brothers, the voice of Bayonetta as well. And I think like the anime stuff like that. So that's a clear thing in here, but also the support for Jennifer Hale, because remember in that initial three videos that Helena Taylor put out, she actually kind of sniped Jennifer Hale in that one. Now, the people that are fans or trying to defend that try to say, no, she didn't, but she actually did because I've never heard another voice actor in this type of way via Twitter actually say that somebody else that took over has no right to sign as the name of that character. So it'd be very similar to, like, let's say, Laura Croft, right? There's been various voice actors for Laura Croft, and then the old voice actor says to the new voice actor, you have no right to sign as Laura Croft when I've been it for X number of games. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute, no, this person's the new Laura Croft, right? So that's a similar situation right here, essentially, that doesn't paint a very good picture and it paints a picture of being spiteful, you know? So I see that Platinum Games is trying to say, hey, look, we saw a lot of stuff when it comes down to it. Now, also, Platinum Games developers aren't really on Twitter a lot. You know, it's a Japanese development studio, so I'm guessing maybe they're on some parts, but not really. But obviously, Hideki Kamiya, you know, in terms of what he had to say, and other Platinum Games developers potentially were getting some hate, getting a lot of hate thrown their way. Hideki Kamiya had, like, woof droves of people coming towards him because from the original videos from helena taylor he was named so obviously that didn't sit well with so many people out there and then they also talk about jennifer hale's statement that she put out she essentially just talked about how I can't talk about the situation because i'm nda'd but at the same time there's many people who have worked on this game try to think about that you know because this whole thing people are trying to say that it's about voice actors and the vo and what they're paid well if you're boycotting or intentionally trying to sink a project that doesn't help all the other voice actors one person says something yet you're screwing things over for many other people that had nothing to do with this controversy in terms of one person not getting the pay that they wanted or at least an offer that they wanted originally is that right is that fair does that help anybody does that help vas it doesn't as much as people like to sit there and say that it does, it doesn't doing stuff like that. And I think that's what Jennifer Hale was trying to say. In addition to linking some stuff about critical thinking and about looking at both sides and about actually taking some time before you grab a pitchfork and rush out there. Twitter in particular is one of the highest places of misinformation. We've seen it over and over. There's been reports we know Twitter is a place where misinformation and a lot of pointing and name calling and stuff happens. It's just part of Twitter. Twitter is terrible in that regard. So Jennifer Hale was trying to say like, hey guys, like listen about this. Now, 
When it comes to the last part of their statement here, they're going to refrain from any further comments that would disrespect Jennifer Hale or any other contributor to the series. So obviously they're talking about Helena Taylor in that respect. So no more talking about it. Let's just put this to bed. If you're going to buy the game or support the game, the fans, then do it. If you've already made your mind up, then that's fine too. But everybody just needs to move on, needs to move on from this when it comes down to it. I agree. I think at the end of the day, with this whole situation in terms of what happened, I feel that people don't quite understand in terms of the business because I saw plenty of people, even still to this point, we have big content creators trying to push narratives that Bayonetta is this type of huge franchise when it's just simply not. A lot of voice actors have came out after seeing what she was offered for her role in Bayonetta 3 and have stated, wow, that's a lot more than pretty much what any other, you know, voice actor would get unless you're like a celebrity, right? So if you're a celebrity, you're going to get a lot of stuff because that's natural built-in promotion and marketing. But Helena Taylor isn't a celebrity and it's four times higher than the union rates that she was signed up with. So her offer is four times higher. So she did get well above what the union minimum rates are so a lot of other voice actors have came out and stated that you know so it's one of those things to where this type of conversation which i talked about in my stream but this type of boycotting and trying to grab the pitchforks that doesn't help vas i don't think that this whole situation was about helping vas i think that this situation was the same thing that people try to do when it comes down to trying to feel that they're better than someone else online or they're more morally correct than someone else online because everybody at the end of the day supports companies that do terrible things a lot worse than not paying somebody the amount of money that they wanted for one week of work everybody does that so when you get on the stage of twitter and these social media sites and try to grandstand and try to say i'm officially doing this i'm officially doing that it just creates a thing that doesn't help push forward anything when it comes down to the real situation are we going to start asking ourselves how much each voice actor makes and boycotting accordingly are we going to ask how much leon makes in the new resident evil and if he doesn't make at least you know this amount of money right we're going to start saying oh let's boycott resident evil 4 how about final fantasy 16 are we going to start asking how much they made what about the japanese voice actors and the english voice actors are we only boycotting if the english voice actors don't get paid enough what if the Japanese voice actors get paid enough? You know what I'm saying? So this is the problem when I see people go out there and try to create these firestorms when everybody, and I mean everybody, if you're buying cell phones or if you're eating fast food, all of us are actually supporting certain things where people aren't paid enough. So to me, this boycott was fake and it's weird from the beginning. It was a lot of virtue signaling or grandstanding from people trying to act like they're better than somebody else when they support things as well. I saw people who even support Activision Blizzard games try to sit there and say that they're all for supporting workers when it comes to you know everything and that's why they're not buying Bayonetta and I'm like, whoa, did you forget what happened? So that's the problem that we have. now. Anybody's allowed to do whatever they want with their money. If you want to support something, support it. If you don't, don't. What I don't like is acting like you're better than someone else because I'm doing this and I'm morally correct while you're out supporting X, Y, and Z company that are doing things just as bad, if not worse, when it comes to not paying their workers well, when it comes to insulting offers, when it comes to really shady ways of how they get their labor and their profiting, you know, or even when companies lay people off when they're worth trillions of dollars or a trillion dollars, like Microsoft just laid off a thousand people with some of them being on the Xbox team despite them being worth so much. Are we gonna start boycotting PC Windows and Xbox series because they didn't feel like paying those people what they're worth. Of course you guys aren't. You see what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. So that's just my opinion on the matter. I mean, I know that might not be the most popular opinion out there, but that's just kind of how I feel. I'm just really excited for Bayonetta 3. I can't wait to play the game. It's going to be so much fun. 
I'm looking forward to it. I've got a giveaway that's going down on my Twitter page, so make sure you guys check that out. And I'll have a post on the community page as well next week. So what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're someone new. Click that notification bell, and we'll see you for the next video. Peace.